Millions of people will lose their jobs because of AI. You probably don't realize just how many professions are at risk. A recent survey found that one in four companies have already replaced some workers with an AI. Even jobs like lawyers, programmers and models are in danger. My name is David Andre and here are 20 jobs that AI will replace and what you can do to prepare. Number one doctors. Most medical cases don't really require a lot of thinking. It's usually the same stuff over and over again, which is exactly what AI excels at. This will also mean that healthcare will become significantly cheaper. Since 90% of every dollar that goes into healthcare is spent on doctors and nurses. Doctors also have limited availability, while an AI doctor will always be there for you. But unlike other jobs on this list, doctors will be safe for a while, since healthcare is a heavily regulated industry. Number two, taxi and truck drivers. Companies like Tesla are already working on self-driving trucks, which will be both cheaper and safer than human drivers. Think of how much time is wasted every day by driving. If the car is driving for you, you can use that time to do something more useful. You could even be on your laptop instead of staring at the road. But there are some serious downsides to this too, like allowing governments to control where you can and cannot drive. And also self-driving cars will probably follow the speed limit, which can be annoying. Number three, customer service, call center agents, and telemarketers. Now these jobs will be replaced in less than a year. There is so much repetitive labor in customer service. And let's be honest, no one wants to do those jobs anyway. You might think AI voices sound robotic, but lately there have been a bunch of AI generating songs going super viral. And let me tell you, if you didn't know these voices were done by AI, you couldn't tell. I guarantee you that at this moment, there are companies working on AI customer service. So if you are in this line of work, you should get out as soon as possible. Number four, voice actors. The improvements in AI generated voices will also put actors at risk. Movies spent a ridiculous amount of money on voice actors. And if you give them the option to choose an AI that's better and cheaper, you'll see a lot of movie studios choose that. But this isn't just about movies. A lot of voice acting happens in other fields like audiobook narration and video games. And I have a feeling that video game developers will be the first to adopt this new AI technology. Number five, translators and interpreters. Human translators are very limited, usually only having mastery in two to three languages, while an AI can understand all of the languages. If you want something translated to English, let's say, you'll get one result, but there are many types of English in the world. American English is very different from British English, which is different from Australian English, which is different from South African English, you get the point. Number six, farmers. Now this is a controversial one, because farmers are very passionate people. And sure, there will still be human farmers for a long time. However, we will see more and more AI technology implemented into the agriculture sector. This could have many great benefits, such as higher crop yield, reduced use of water and chemicals and improved sustainability. I've also heard some people talk about these container mini farms where you'd have one of these shipping containers full of plants and vegetables, which would allow you to have locally sourced food anywhere on the planet. Now that's the type of future I'm excited about. Number seven, warehouse and distribution center workers. These jobs are one of the first to be replaced. It's already happening in large warehouses. For instance, Amazon has been using these Roomba-like robots to massively drive down costs. And let's be real, pretty much everyone who works at a warehouse hates their job, since it involves a lot of drudge work and manual labor. AI will also be much more reliable than humans. And we've all seen how badly warehouse accidents can go. Number eight, fast food and restaurant workers. Don't get me wrong, it will be quite a while before we see robots preparing food. But once it happens, it will impact tens of millions of people. Everyone knows at least one person who works at McDonald's. We've already seen the order taking part of the job automated. 10 years ago, you had people taking orders and now you have these touch displays in every other location. So yeah, fast food workers don't have to worry about AI for now. Number nine, lawyers. Great lawyers will still be in demand, like those in high profile cases, representing celebrities or billionaires. However, the average lawyer simply can't compete with GPT-4, which can already pass the bar exam. There's so much repetitive and boring legal work out there. Tasks like document review, contract analysis, and legal research. Personally, I've already used ChatGPT to go over complicated contracts and help me understand them better. Number 10, 
cleaning and maintenance workers. Nobody wants to do this crap anyway. But I guarantee you that people will still be mad that an AI robot is cleaning the floors instead of them. It's crazy how much time you can save by not having to vacuum your apartment. And there are cleaning robots that also do mopping now. Number 11, airplane pilots. You might not realize it, but whenever you're taking a flight, most of the actual flying is already done by an AI. Sure, human pilots will still be needed, but in a couple of years, there will be an AI that can operate an airplane much better than even the best human pilots out there. In a way, the pilot will just be there to calm the passengers down. Because I can see people being frightened if they found out that the airplane they're on doesn't have a pilot. Number 12, programmers. The very people creating AI will be replaced by AI. How ironic. Again, it's the average programmers who should start panicking because these large language models are becoming better and better at writing code. The other day I saw a guy use ChatGPT to code Flappy Bird from scratch. That's kinda insane if you think about it. And with tools like Copilot, soon most of the world's code will be AI generated. 41% of all code on GitHub is AI generated. Really? Already? Yeah already. Number 13. Accountants, tax consultants and bookkeepers. Here is a prediction. The next year you'll be doing your taxes with an AI. Whether that's ChatGPT or something else. I don't know. But I promise you that tax consultants, bookkeepers and accountants will be replaced very quickly. And like who wants to pay hundreds if not thousands of dollars for these services? Once there is an AI product that can do taxes, it will drop the cost of tax reports to a few dollars. Number 14. Models and influencers. Now this is a fun one. Some companies have already started using AI generated models in their advertisements. With tools like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, you can create the most attractive people you've ever seen in less than a second. But not only that, you can also customize them to look exactly like you want. The clothing brand Levi's recently used AI generated models in their ad campaign, which caused a lot of controversy. So they had to back down and assure the public that nobody lost their job because of this. But let's be realistic, there will be models and influencers replaced by AI. Number 15, fashion designers and stylists. Even the AI we have today can create impressive fashion designs. And those are general AI models I'm talking about, meaning they aren't optimized for one specific task. If you train one of these systems specifically on fashion design, you'd have something much more specialized. That's what is known as narrow AI. Number 16, journalists. A lot of journalism is about speed, delivering the news as quickly as possible. And no human can compete with AI on speed. Most of journalism is surprisingly uncreated creative, covering the latest news in a short and sensational format. Plus, people don't realize how good ChatGPT already is. Like, it has no problems writing news stories about anything you give it. Why spend 70k a year on a journalist when you can hire ChatGPT for 20 bucks a month? Number 17. Screenwriters and scriptwriters. One of the biggest issues that AI solves is the blank page problem. If you ever tried writing anything, you know that the hardest part is just getting started. Well, these large language models have completely eliminated that problem. Although the current AI chatbots still aren't that creative when it comes to running scripts. That's why a lot of YouTubers, including myself, are always on the lookout for a great script writer. By the way, I am looking to expand my team. So if you want to help me in becoming the biggest AI channel on YouTube, then fill out my hiring form. First link in the description. Number 18, construction workers. Now I think it could take 10 to 20 years before robots start doing all of the construction work due to the sheer complexity of scaling hardware and robotics. However, once that happens, it will happen fast. Construction is the third largest industry in the world with over 4.8 trillion dollars going into it every year. So if you want to become a billionaire, consider starting a robotics company. Number 19, scientists and researchers. I actually think scientists should start panicking relatively soon, since it's only a matter of time before AI can make new scientific discoveries on its own. And as a scientist, it's kinda hard to compete with an entity that has access to all of the world's knowledge. Once again, the world-class scientists and researchers at the top of their fields should be fine. Number 20, real estate agents and brokers. If you're the average 
average person looking to rent an apartment, there really is no need to have a real estate agent tell you the same information that AI can tell you and then ask for one month's rent as a commission. If you think virtual property tours are still in the future, then think again. Recently, a software called Zibnerf was released, which is able to render 3D environments in real time. Stuff like this would have been impossible just a year ago. It's crazy how fast AI is improving. So what can you do to prepare for the AI revolution? Here are three things that you can start doing today. First, stay informed about the latest AI advancements. All you have to do is subscribe. I'll do the research for you. Second, use AI tools to increase your productivity. There are so many great AI tools, so use them. And third, embrace lifelong learning. Self-education is crucial if you want to get ahead in life. People are mad that AI will replace some jobs when 85% of people hate their job anyway. I get it. They're just scared of change. However, change is inevitable, so you might as well embrace it.